Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. And the question I got asked today is, can you ever determine who an anonymous viewer is of your Google Doc? And I'm going to show you what you can and can't do in that context in this video. So I'm going to share this document publicly. I've already said it, so anyone on the internet with the link can view it. I'm going to copy that link, and I'm going to go open that link in an anonymous window. Actually, I'm going to go open it up in Firefox, so I'm not even in the same browser. So I'm in Firefox. I'm not logged into Google in this browser. And there's the document about anonymous viewers. You see it wants me to log in. And now you, I can see as an anonymous user anywhere in the, in the world who has l l this link, I can see that this person right here, BCI testing, is viewing the file. Now if BCI testing closes this file down, I can see that now no one, let me refresh this and make sure, now no one is viewing this document. And this is an anonymous, a totally anonymous user. But if I go back to BCI testing and I reopen that document, now if I go back to Firefox, you can see BCI testing is back. Now the reason why I can see BCI testing's name is because that's the author of the account and he's logged in to, G, uh, to Google right now. Now, that's, this is the example of an anonymous viewer seeing it. All the anonymous viewer can see is the owner's name. Now, I go back to the, uh, the Google Doc, that, and the owner, there's the anonymous dinosaur. Now, I can click on that. I can do whatever I want, right-click on that. There's nothing to make that turn into anything but anonymous. So the bottom line is, if you're not logged into Google, the author of the document will not be able to determine your name, but let me go do one step further. Let me open this publicly shared document in an account that I'm logged into Google, and this is not my document. So let me grab the link, copy the link. I'm gonna go to another account. Now this is pretty interesting, and that is I'm logged in now. I'm logged into my TL Burris at TeddyBurris.com account, which is my primary business account. And I'm viewing this document that was shared with the public URL. And you can see that I can see the anonymous dinosaur, and I can also see BCI testing, but I have no details about BCI testing. If I open a detailed view, no info. So I don't, I don't believe I have that in my context. However, if that BCI testing was in my context, let me go set that up for you and show you what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to refresh this so I can go look in my contacts because I am logged into G Gmail right now in the, in the Google Workplace. Look here. When I hover over that, BCI testing has an email address. And the reason why that shows up there is because that's from my Google contacts. So if BCI testing is sharing it and Google discovers that's the same person, it's going to show the email address for that contact only because it's in my Google contacts. Otherwise, all I would see is BCI testing and no email address. So again, the, the, and if I go back to the original document, the owner of this document will only see anonymous dinosaur and anonymous duck. And it will not see who that person is, even though I know for a fact that the TL Burris at TeddyBurris.com, right there, I have both email addresses in there. So even though the viewer, which I think is the anonymous duck, is Teddy Burris at TL Burris at TeddyBurris.com, because it's shared anonymously, but anyone on the on the web can see it. It doesn't tell the owner of this document who's looking at it. But again, come back here and you can see because I'm logged in as TL Burris at TeddyBurris.com, I can see that it's BCI testing. And because BCI testing is in my contacts, I can see their email address. But this person here is a totally anonymous uh, over in Firefox. I won't see it. Now, because BCI testing is looking at it, but it doesn't tell the information. And there is anonymous duck and no information because this person is not signed into Google. 
So a lot of different parameters there. I think I listed them out pretty cleanly in this text. I'll share this text in the Google video and I'll share this help document. But that's pretty interesting. Bottom line, come back to the document. You cannot determine who an anonymous viewer is. And the owner of the document who shared it will not even see the name of the person who's logged in, even if that person's Google email address is in their context. Here's the other uh, part of the, another question I got that's relevant to this. And why do these ducks keep showing up when I'm using this? And you know, do they show up all the time? Well, what you know, why is this anonymous duck not going away? Well, it could be that the anonymous duck person or the anonymous dinosaur person has a browser tab open with your document and they didn't close it. But the moment they go and close it. then it should go away. Anonymous um, dinosaur went away. And if I go back to the other account and I close this document, it went away. So the bottom line, why is it still showing up? It's probably because they have a tab open that has that document and just haven't closed it. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workplace, Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this information, as complex as it sounds, is helpful for you.